Hello! In this video, I'm doing my glowy summer makeup routine with you guys. So I am fresh faced outside of this uh, pregnancy melasma. I've washed my face and I've already moisturized it. What I'm gonna be doing in this video is a makeup routine that I've never done before in my life. I'm literally gonna make it up as I go along. Make it up, make up. I I'm just trying to like switch it up from my regular routine. I am so boring with my makeup. I do the exact same makeup every single time I do my makeup. I haven't even really changed my foundation the last, like normally I would do a summer foundation and a winter foundation. I haven't even done that this year I'm still using my winter foundation it is a little bit lighter it doesn't match like the bit of color I have here but I've just been kind of like overdoing it with the bronzer and like sorry making it match whatever or like self tanner so I'm playing around with everything for the first time in this video I'm trying this completely brand new and hopefully the result is something more summery and glowier for this video I'm gonna be using a brand new brush set by Lily England this video is not sponsored by them but they did gift me this 12 piece brush set so really quick, first of all, how pretty is this? It's a 12 piece essential makeup brush set. It comes with a flat foundation brush, powder brush, angled blush brush, flat top kabuki brush, luxe crease, smudge, eye contour, base shadow, accent brush, eye shader, small angled brush, and a blender. So I feel like there's everything I'm gonna possibly need in this. It's also cruelty free and 100% vegan, which is very, very nice. The thing that I love about this brush set though, is first of all, let me show you guys what it looks like. Number one, it comes with like a beautiful little travel kit, or you can just keep your brushes in here. I'm gonna keep mine out probably, but whenever I need to travel, like very, very convenient. But also it's just so gorgeous. And I noticed that, um, so here they are actually, let me show you. Like how beautiful. So like, here's what they all look like. They don't take up a lot of space either, which is excellent. They're so, soft oh my god I have I don't even think I've felt them before I just felt that right now for the first time they're so soft and beautiful but like how pretty and minimal and just very like chic looking are these brushes and the thing that I actually noticed on their website too which I really liked was I think the founder started this company because she was like I was sick of trying to look for quality brushes that also looked beautiful on like a bathroom counter and I'm so about that because I live in a really small space I'm eight months pregnant and I'm so out of breath oh my god I live in a small condo I have really learned to get good at doubling function with decor. So I have so many things. Like I have a little um, cup of pens on my family room console table or whatever you call it. And they're all like these beautiful gold pens because I'm like, we need pens here, but they're gonna be nice and they're gonna double as decor. And they're also gonna serve a purpose because we just like don't have the space to have both. And it's kind of also a waste too. Like why not just like make everything that you have pretty. So I am a huge fan of the thought process behind that. And I really like how the brushes are obviously beautiful and soft and seem like they work very well, but they're also like just so pretty and they could easily, I would easily sit these out on my bathroom counter with no shame whatsoever. So let's get into this video. Okay, and I'm gonna be using these brushes for everything. Normally I would do a beauty blender with my foundation, but I'm just going to try out the blush, the, the brush. The other nice thing I like about this too, this is the very last thing, is that all of these brushes are numbered on the back and then they're numbered on here. So I could actually check to see what I'm supposed to be using what for. I mean, it really doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want and use the brushes for whatever you like, but I'm gonna try and follow the instructions. So to start, I'm gonna use uh, just my regular foundation. It's the Fenty Beauty Foundation in 200. This is my winter foundation. I could go a little bit darker right now. Like I mentioned earlier, I just have not done anything like that this year yet. So we're gonna just try to fake it out with other things. So what I'm gonna do with my foundation though, to make it very glowy and summery, is I'm going to use some of this Golden Goddess. It's Shimmering Dry Body Oil. So this is extremely potent and it's very strong <laughs> looking. Like if you put too much, it looks beautiful, but you look really gold. I have not used this on my face yet. I've only used it on my body, but I wanna just add like a tiny little drop just just to get that extra sort of shimmer to my face and my skin. I hope I don't overdo it. It's likely that I will, but we're just gonna see what happens. And this is the Golden Goddess Shimmering Dry Body Oil by Melissa Carter. This is old and also it was a gift. So I don't even know if you can get this, but I'm definitely gonna, re there's for definitely products like exactly like this out there. So I'm gonna research some that I think are similar to this and I'll link those for you guys. So I always just put my foundation directly on my face. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but whatever. Oh, 
shit. And I also just realized that, okay, my camera just randomly shut off, but all you missed was, I realized that I spilt this gold stuff everywhere and I just mixed it in with my foundation. I put this in my foundation all over my face with the designated foundation brush and, I don't think I overdid it, which is really nice because I was a really I was really afraid that I was going to. Um, I do have a little bit extra on my finger though because I spilt it everywhere. So I'm just gonna do this to like remove it. Um, hopefully that looks good. Normally I would set it with a powder foundation, but I'm trying to like switch it up, but I don't wanna cover up all the shimmer that I just put on. So I think I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna set it with like a spray and it's a dewy finish spray by NYX. So maybe this will add to the summery sort of vibe that we're going for. Okay, next I'm going to do some bronzer, I think. I'm out of all of my makeup. So I just use this like boring MAC one, but it works fine. It's not shimmery or anything. It's just like a matte MAC bronzer, a matte MAC bronzer. I'm just using the powder brush. I'm not gonna go too crazy with my bronzer because we'll just see what it looks like afterwards and we'll see if we need to adjust anything. I wanted to avoid using a setting powder, but I think it's inevitable you just have to use it because I tried doing that recently and mascara sort of stuck to my foundation underneath. So I'm just gonna at least put it underneath my eyes so that I don't have any mascara issues. Um, and also it just looks like nice and bright. So for powder, I'm using a Makeup Forever, just like plain translucent powder. I normally use the Becca brightening powder, but Becca Becca has recently announced that they're going under because of the pandemic, which really sucks. So I'm so sad. I just ran out of that powder as well. I'm maybe gonna see if I can buy one more, but I've, I've like accepted that I have to just like find another brand. So I have this Makeup Forever one and I'm gonna test this out and see how it goes. And I'm just gonna try out this little brush here. Okay, just gonna leave it like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Normally I would like contour my whole face with powder and stuff. I'm not gonna do that because like I mentioned, this is supposed to be just like a more chill, glowy summery makeup routine. So what we are gonna go a little bit ham with is blush. Cause I think blush is like so synonymous with like a glowy summer look. So I have two blushes that I'm gonna use. This is my everyday blush. It's like this purple one. And then I also have this like sort of strawberry golden one. So I'm just gonna try out both and see what happens. I'm going to start using this purple, uh, using, actually, you know what? It kind of is purple at the, at the tip. So this is clearly an angled blush brush. So I'm gonna start using this and then I'm gonna move on to the other one. And you know what's crazy? Using new brushes, I'm so used to having like just pigment on my old brushes already. So I like barely tap a lot of my products before I put them on because there's just like leftover from when I use them before. But new brushes are so different. You have to like really layer the product on. You know what? I put my blush up here. I saw this TikTok this girl on TikTok and she's like, put it up here instead of here. And I started doing that and I'm like, you know what? I'm kind of into it. I'm not gonna lie. And I've been doing it ever since. It's kind of changed my routine. Okay, and then that's good for now. Then this next one, I'm just gonna kind of do it over top. Oh, this one goes on a little more pigmented than I had anticipated. And I'm just gonna like dab here and on this side because that like strawberry sort of gold one is a little bit less chill. So next I'm gonna use some highlighter. You guys are, please get ready to laugh at me. This is so embarrassing, but like, what am I doing with this highlighter? I need a new one. It's so done. I don't know where I even get high, like I don't know how I still continue to use it. But the reason why I have not gotten a new highlighter is because I like to go into the store and try highlighters specifically on my arm and even on my face, like foundations and things like that, that I know are gonna work for me. I'll order online and other beauty products will order online. But for whatever reason, highlighter, I really wanna see how it's gonna look on my skin. Cause it can kind of like either make or break your makeup look in my opinion. And we've just been locked down for like the most unbelievable amount of time and we are still somewhat partially locked down like I still can't go into a Sephora today and try out highlighter so that's my weak excuse but like what is this <laughs> <laughs> so the one thing that I don't really see in this 12 piece kit is like a separate highlighter brush. This is a bit too flat. I think this is more foundation. Um, so I'm just gonna use this one again. It has a bit of bronzer on it, but like, I think it's gonna be fine. And like, I literally have to mix like this crazy white one and this pink one because like these other more golden ones that I would prefer are sort of like just done. <laughs> you know what? I actually do like putting on with this brush because it's going on more subtle and less like intense. I'm also not gonna contour at all. I was thinking about it because normally I would do that next, but again, it's just gonna be like a 
sun-kissed, natural, chill look. I'm gonna do my eyebrows next. I always use this Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. It's the best. And then I kind of fill it in afterwards with powder a little bit, but you'll see what I, I mean. I mainly use this and I just really only use the powder to like buff and make it not look so crazy. Ooh, and this, so I always use a toothbrush first and then I use an angled brush afterwards, but I really like theirs because it's just both in one. So that's one fewer thing that I need to worry about. I really like this too, because it's brushing out all the foundation that got in my eyebrows. So I do it kind of crazy like this, and then I just go in with like this little powder thing from MAC. It's just like, it's actually an eyeshadow. It's a brown eyeshadow, A98. I honestly, like all my makeup is so old, I need to like update all of it. I just didn't really wear a lot during the pandemic and like it's still kind of working for me. So that's why I'm like, whatever. But I'm gonna go in with this angle brush and just sort of buff everything out and like make it look normal. I really like this angle brush a lot. It's uh, doing like a nice airbrush type of thing. Okay, I think that's good. So eyeshadow I really never use in my daily routine, but because I'm trying to do this more glowy sort of thing, I'm just gonna do like basic eyeshadow. I'm using this Morphe palette and I always forget, it's like the bronze palette. Let's look. Do, 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 do. Oh my God, I'm like reading the label and like the information is right beside it. <laughs> so it's called Bronze Goals. It is the 35G palette and yes, it's called Bronze Goals. And it's beautiful because all of the colors are all like bronzy and summery so that's why I thought it was perfect to use I'm not gonna go crazy though. I'm not gonna like contour and crease and blah 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 I'm just going to use probably just the um like the buffing brush and then I'm just gonna use that to apply the color as well let's guess I think I'm gonna do this color right here I was thinking about this one but I think let's do this one it's just your sort of standard actually this one's called island life how fitting the color's going on really nicely, I will say, with this brush. Then I'm just gonna like swirl this brush around and take off some of the pigment so that I can just very casually blend out this top here so there's no hard line. Boom, done. I was thinking of like maybe doing a highlight up here, but I'm not gonna get carried away. I refuse to do that. Next, I'm just gonna do a quick curl of my lashes. And I'm using the best mascara ever. I will link the video on everything you need to know about this mascara and my technique and everything. I'm gonna do it fast for this video, but this is like the best mascara literally ever. And my lashes love it. And I've been using it for like over 10 years and it's just the best. I have nothing bad to say about it. Quick and easy. Okay, we're almost done. I'm just going to take off the brightening powder from underneath my eyes. Was this the one that I used? I can't even remember. Lastly, I'm gonna just put, I'm not gonna like add any shadow to this brush, but I'm just gonna like sort of almost dust it off. Add like the tiniest bit of the same shadow underneath my eye, nothing crazy. It's kind of hard to go on because I had the powder on, <laughs> but whatever. I just don't want it to be like so much on the top and then absolutely nothing on the bottom, you know what I mean? So as long as there's just like a little bit and it's more like chill. Okay, bottom mascara. Again, I kind of just like did a quick job. Okay, now while that's drying, just gonna do basic, basic lips, basic lips. So a super quick liner. I use the Makeup Forever, Makeup Forever 606 Wherever Walnut. I've been using this for years too, it's my favorite one. Okay, and then instead of my regular lipstick that I would do, I always do like a nude lipstick because like I said, I do the same shit every day. I'm going to use a gloss, which has a little bit more shimmer in it because I think that's a little bit more glowy and like the vibe that we're going for. So this is just the Fenty Beauty Gloss. I know she has three out now. So this was the original one. There's like a, I think like a clear, this one, and then like a pink one. So this is the more like nudie one, I guess you could say. I'm also noticing that I have this like random red mark here. So I'm just going to quickly take some concealer. This is just a creaseless Tarte concealer. I'm barely gonna like do anything. I'm just gonna go like that. And then I'll just take my foundation brush that I used from before. Okay, this is another glowy summer TikTok hack that I found. A lot of models apparently use this too. They use this on runways. Tried it a couple times before. I wouldn't like wear it like out 
in the evening for dinner or something like that. But if you're doing the daytime glowy summery vibes, I think it's something really cool to try. So this is the just, you know, those like baby lips by Maybelline. This is like a chapstick. They say to get clear. I think they only had pink when I went, but this is still not, it's like barely pink. Like, oh no, it is a little bit pink. Okay. <laughs> so get the clear. That's the best one. But uh, we're going to use the pink today. And they just say to like dab it a little bit on your cheeks and sort of like blend it in. And it just gives us like, more glowy look. I'm just gonna kind of do it where I did my blush. Like, I don't know if that made a huge difference, but let's pretend that it did. Last but not least, I'm just gonna clean up my eyes from the mascara that I got everywhere, cause I always do that. <laughs> also, it helps to put the powder over top of it first before you remove it, because then you're not removing your actual makeup, you're just removing like the surface makeup. I always do one last highlight for good luck. In the summer, you cannot really have too much highlight. And that's it. And please ignore my hair because <laughs> it has not been done yet today. The final look just has to have like your hair down and like looking nice. Okay, maybe my hair is making it look worse. Yeah, this is it. That is the final summer glowy makeup routine. I'm proud of myself. It's different than my normal routine. I skipped some steps. I added some other steps. Like I said, I didn't contour or anything like that because I just wanted to look more natural, even though like it's obviously not natural, but it's just like sort of more natural, if that makes any sense. So that was my 2021 glowy summer makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want to see me trying new things twice a week, please subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram for more.